she doing now? Uh, she's she, my daughter. She's emotionally devastated, and she's in enormous physical pain and everything. And you know that's her state right now. Can you describe her injuries? Yes. Well, um, right now um, she had to get uh, she had bone fractures all throughout her leg, and she had to get screws inside of her leg. You know, and she the day of on Friday she had to get surgery that day on the sixth. She had to get surgery, um, and so they put a a, a pipe through her bone and there's multiple screws in her leg. So they said that she's gonna have to have, have that in her in her for the rest of her life. She was chased into the street. She was chased into the street, yes, yes. And how old is she? Uh, she's 14 years old, yes. Can, will she be able to walk again or is it too soon to say? Well, it's, it's too soon to say, you know, but she's not gonna ever be the same. She's never gonna be able to walk uh, normally and emotionally, she's traumatized. She can't even sleep at night. You know what my daughter asked me? My daughter, usually a parent says, you know, analyzes their kid and, and says, you know, they need a psych, psychology, uh, you know, they need some, a psychologist, a, a psychiatrist or whatever. My daughter in the hospital, in the hospital bed, she told me, she said, daddy, I need a psychiatrist. I need a psychiatrist to speak to, you know, because I'm, I'm in too much pain right now. And over and over and over again, she just kept calling for, you know, uh, people, the medical staff to come talk to her. You know, um, now that she's she's at home and everything, she's still going through a lot of emotional trauma. She she just she hasn't. It's going to be a long time. Do you have any other children? No, I, ha I don't have any other children. The idea that this guy was out on the street, yes, able to do what it was he did. Do you have a reaction? To that? Um, it's tragic. It's, it's, it's tragic. You know, um, I find what the what the irony is, they're trying to use this this insanity uh, defense. You know, they're trying to use this insanity defense, but he's not, it's an exaggeration because he's only attacking women and children. He's never attacking men. How insane can you be if you're attacking women and children and you're never attacking men? Why? Because, because if, if you come up to a man, particularly, he's going to, not only men, but women too, but in most cases, men are going to confront you. You know, but he's attacking our vulnerable women and children. Um, and also, if he was so crazy, he can't be that crazy if a child, he chases a child into the street, she gets hit by a car, and he tries to escape to get away from law enforcement. That doesn't sound like it, he's that crazy to me. Consciousness of guilt. Enough. Yeah, he's, con he's conscious that he's guilty. So that insanity defense is, is ridiculous. Mr. Wilkes. How'd you feel when you saw his face in court today for the first time? I was angry, you know? To be honest with you, I felt like leaping over uh, 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 the table and grabbing him up, you know, as a father, you know? Uh, but out of respect for the court, you know, I maintained discipline and made it clear to him that I'm determined to get justice. I will get justice. I will not sleep until I get justice. And I want to make it clear to uh, uh, the incoming uh, Queens uh, district attorney that she has to take action. If you say that you are for the children, Melinda Katz, I challenge you to step up to the plate and hold this criminal accountable with violent felony charges. There is no reason he should be on the street on January 1st after attacking a little girl.